Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, there is this um, thing I've been having in my mind and I just want to voice it out. It is my point of view though, my point of view. So um, a lot of time you see people insulting the time, faltering the time, faltering religion. You hear statements like this, religion has done more harm than good. You know, the time has changed, so we have to change alongside the time. And because of that, we need to put on the tools, we need to, you know, dress naked, and we need to, you know, do all sorts of things. You know, putting the blame on the time and putting the blame on religion. Is it actually true? Is it actually true? Because the last time I checked, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created um, the time, created um, 12 months in a year, and it's still there. Created seven days in a week, it is still there. Created... Um, 24 hours in a day, it is still there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created um, the five daily prayer in Islam. The five daily prayer is still there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created um, the five the five pillars of Islam. We still have five pillars of Islam. We still have six articles of faith. Everything is still intact. Is it actually true that we are to blame these things or we are to blame the people? Are we to blame the religion or we are to blame the people? We are to blame the people because they are the people or we are the people that have changed, not the time. And um, Imam Shafi'i said, That we blame the time, but the blame or the fault is in us. The time is not having the blame except us. Mm? And we are insulting the time that has not even committed anything. Had didn't been the time can talk, he would have insulted us. Then he went for that, he said, he said, That the wolf does not eat the meat of another wolf. And we eat the meat of each other. We cheat each other. We spill the blood of each other. We, um, when we have power, when we know we have power than other people, we try to trample upon their rights. We do all sorts of things to people because we know we are powerful. Then how is it that we are to blame the time or blame religion? The problem is we are to blame ourselves, not religion. And we do not even want to change. Yet we are clamoring for change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma biqawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not change the condition of a people until they are ready to change themselves or until they change themselves. The family is the smallest unit of the society. When I change myself individually and you change yourself and we all want, you know, change ourselves collectively that's world form you know uh, when i change myself you change yourself and the family units everybody change themselves collectively that will form a society which will collectively form a nation and that is how it will grow and become a very you know become something big but we don't even want to change ourselves how is it that we are expecting change may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us it is just my point of view and it, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it um easy for us to change ourselves and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us um, goodness in this world as well as in the hereafter. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.